Good afternoon everyone, me and my new video are with you again. Today we will learn how to install Windows 11 on your computer without losing your Microsoft license and how to save your personal files, programs, and applications in a simple and easy way. You will now no longer need to save your files on another drive before installing the new Windows 11, and you will not have to reinstall your programs and applications after the process is completed, since personal files and programs will be saved automatically. So, if you previously had Windows 10 or Windows 8, in order not to lose your license, you need to follow a certain procedure during the installation process. First action. At one of the installation steps, the program will prompt you to enter a product key, but here you do not need to use an activation key, click I don't have a product key and continue with the installation. Second action. In the window where you need to select the edition of Windows 11, you need to select the same edition that you had earlier. If you had Windows 10 or Windows 8 Home, you need to select Windows 11 Home. If you had Windows Pro, you must select Windows 11 Pro, then you will not lose your license and Windows 11 activation will happen automatically. And finally, the third action, it will be as simple as the first two actions. During the installation process, there is no need to delete partitions and format the disk for Windows, you only need to click on the disk with the old Windows that you had before, and after that click, Next. The Windows installer will save all your personal files, all applications and put them in the Windows old folder, we can read about this in a message from the installer. Yes. I managed to install a new Windows 11. I open settings, then the activation tab, and here we can see that my new Windows 11 Pro is activated with a digital license associated with my Microsoft account. Now I open, File Explorer, then, this PC, and double click on the C drive. Here is the Windows old folder, and it should contain all my personal files. I open this folder, then the folder, Users, here I open the folder with my username. And I open the desktop. Yes, here are my file folders and I drag them onto the desktop. Now I will check whether I have lost my files or not. All the videos in the folder are there and they are not damaged. The files in the folder were also saved without any changes. And finally, you need to check how applications from the old Windows 10 work. To do this, you need to open this computer again, then open Drive C, and open our Windows old again. Now we need to open the Program Files folder, usually all installed applications are stored here. I will open the folder with this program, and to make it convenient to launch the program, you need to place its icon on the desktop. To do this, right-click on the program icon, and select Send to Desktop. I double-click on the application icon and the program works. Now I will select another application. It is called, Audacity. And I also send its icon to the desktop. I double-click on the icon and it launches without any problems. Well, now you are convinced that this method works with 100% results. This concludes my video review and I hope what I just said could help you and if you found it helpful please share my video with someone. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck.